Hey, how you doing? Welcome to your general love reading for April 18th, 2023. Oh my gosh. All of these fell out and something's taking me to, something's telling me to take all of them. So let's take them because the way they came out. So welcome to your general love reading for April 18th, 2023. Good to see all of you. I hope all is well with your loved ones, your pets. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot if it's your first time here. Welcome if you're coming back. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate you. Let's get into your love reading. So the first card that came out is Cycles, Libra. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So a lot of changes here in your love life. Some of you just your overall life. A lot of things ending, whether that's job, doesn't have to be love, you know, friendships, cycle, you know, you could be moving, things like that. Things coming to a completion. So new things can be born. Okay. So beautiful energy. Someone else is here. It says someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Okay. So what I'm getting with that card is you strongly have somebody here, an ex or something like that. For a lot of you, it's an ex or somebody that you are dating. Okay. And this person doesn't want to see you with anybody else. All right. So we'll look into that person and get more info. Next to that, we got honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Some of you may be going to a wedding. Okay, you may be in a honeymoon phase with somebody, you know, where everything feels good, feels great. Love spell. Somebody feels like you put uh, a love spell on them or they just feel like they have feelings for you. They can't shake. Then you got distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Some of you may be dealing with a long distance connection. And then you got open up your heart. It will help you attract more love, especially for my single Libras. You got to open up your heart more. And I know that's hard for a lot of y'all to do. You know what I mean? Because of what you've been through. Can I see the, can I get a card on that someone else? Now, some of you could be dealing with somebody and maybe there's somebody here that's trying to come between you and this person. Whether it's somebody on your person's end, there could be a third party thing for a few of you. Show me someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. What's that card about for my Libras? Make sure y'all hit that like button now. I said button, button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. A liar is here. Someone is being sneaky. Yeah, whoever this person is that's in the middle or they trying to get between you and your person, they can't be trusted. They're a liar, they're sneaky. Maybe they've lied on you. Maybe they've told things about you that's not true. Let me see the love spell card. Who's the person that can't shake you, Libra? They feel like they're... Like in love with you, like they're not sure if you put voodoo on them, intuition. So you know who this person is. It could be an air sign for some of you. It could be another Libra. Could be an Aquarius or Gemini. But this person is like, yo, I cannot shake Libra. I kid you not. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Let's get a card on that distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So some of you dealing with somebody, like I said, it could be long distance. There could be actual physical distance between you and this person. Or, or, for some of you, or it could be uh, emotional distance. Maybe you just feel a little distant with this person you're in a relationship with or you're connecting with. Commitment came out. Give it time. Water sign. A lot of y'all are in a commitment with a water sign. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody who has water in their chart. Sexuality came out. This car been coming out a lot for the past week. Some of you Libras. This isn't for all of you. Some of you dealing with somebody that like both sides of the cake. You know what I'm saying. They like the chocolate and the vanilla. And I don't mean, don't mean race. I mean, some of you, a small portion of you might be dealing with somebody who's bisexual. Others of you, a small portion of you, you could be bisexual. Maybe you're still trying to figure out what you want. Mm -hmm. There's a few of you Libras, yeah. But for most of you, it's saying there's distance between you and somebody. The universe is saying give it time, everything in divine time, and let things flow. A lot of you are waiting on a commitment. A lot of you, maybe you want a relationship. You want something serious. And the universe is still saying to you, give it time. You know what I mean? Let things flow. Some of y'all been gambling. So be careful with that. Or you've been spending a lot of money on like addictions or some shit like that. Excuse my language. Oh my goodness. Hi, Libra. 
Make sure you guys hit that like button now. Show your girl some love now. Show your girl some love now. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. You know I love talking to y'all in the comments. Mama, you like the sun? I got the door open for her. So she's like Sunday. She loves it. It's a good girl. She loves it. I got the door open for her. Because I know that I can open the door. I don't have to worry about bugs. Did I speak too soon? Because I think I see something flying. It's very small though. I can I can I can deal with that. You know what I mean? As long as nothing big don't try to come in. Mama, this door might have to get closed after this reading. What else is going on for Libra? Restlessness. Somebody is losing sleep over you. Could be an Aries. Somebody's losing sleep over you. They're restless over you. This is the restless card. Submission. Could be a Pisces romance. It's definitely a romantic person. Mm-hmm. And it could be a Taurus for some of you. This person is restless. Why are they so restless over Libra? Why? Idealism. It's like this person is very idealistic that you and them will get back together. Or that they'll get you again. Some of you, they're posting stuff on social media trying to get your attention. This person want to be in a relationship with you. Moon and Libra. What else is going on with you? Libras. Publicity. Some of y'all got somebody that's famous that's interested in you, been keeping an eye on you. Show me more about this publicity card. It could be a, a Leo. Power. It's somebody that got power. Moon and Scorpio. Fortune. It's somebody that got money. Flattery. So status on the bottom. So a lot of y'all got somebody famous. Or if they're not like full-blown famous, you know what I mean? They're just known. Maybe they're known in their career field. Maybe they're known in their community. Maybe they're just popular. Maybe they're an influencer. I don't know. I just know you got publicity and you got status. Whoever this person is, they're known. And for a lot of you, they are famous because they got money. It says fortune and power. Make the coochie go woo-woo. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all is a Scorpio, Leo, heavy Leo, Gemini. Feel like whoever this is, you're going to be real flattered. Now, some of y'all, maybe this person ain't come yet, Libra, but I feel like you're going to see them. I just heard some of y'all, I'm seeing the number five. So May, I'm also seeing, yeah, a lot of five. I'm seeing five, five, and eight. So some of you may meet this person in August. Some of you may meet them in May. Some of you already met them in March with the three here. Either way, this person coming in. And you're going to be very, very flattered. Like, oh, this person interested in me? Yep. Organization, friendship. I like you. I like how you're setting up your friend group. Like, some of y'all, like, maybe some of y'all have eliminated some friends. You got more organized with your friends. Like, some of y'all have some friends that was low-key jealous of you with the rebellion card here. Or just you wasn't feeling any energy. And I feel like there's some Libras. You really set up your friend circle. You've been concentrating. What you've been concentrating on here? Indecision. Some some choice you have to make, but you're... Something about your money. Generosity. Affair. Okay, so some of you Libras... This is very specific, so it's not all of you. Some of you Libras, somebody... I don't know if you... I feel like you might be in a relationship with this person. Don't have to be. It could be a friend. I feel like you indecisive about helping somebody. Some of you is somebody you in a relationship with. Some of you is somebody you are, you just friends, like friends or could be family. I don't know. It says affair here. It doesn't have to be. It feels more love. But I feel like you're confused about either giving them money or opening up. Let me see. Well, why? Why? What was, what's the purpose of this? Endurance. So the universe don't want you to give this person money or they don't want you to open up to this person. So that's very specific because the universe is saying endurance. They saying for you to hold out, basically. You indecisive for a reason. You've been thinking hard about it. Maybe somebody going to ask you for money and it's like a part of you like, I don't need to give this person a dime. You know what I mean? But you a Libra. You like to help people. You may feel bad like, I got it. You know, like, no, you indecisive for a reason. Your intuition is telling you something. Don't give this person no money. Look, caution came out. And some of y'all, it's a partner. It's somebody you dating, somebody you seeing, risk. Look, 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 look. Caution and risk. I'm just pulling from the bottom. You saw me. 
Some of y'all, this is a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio. I don't care what they sign is. Don't give them a dime. Because a lot of y'all is somebody you're in a relationship with or you dating. And I see if that's not you, don't take it because that's very specific. But the universe said, don't give this person a fucking dime. You're taking a risk. And it says caution. Mm -mm. Red flag. And some of y'all, you haven't even known this person that long and they're asking you for money. I don't care if you know me. Like, what you talking about? Don't do it, Libra. Don't do it. Let's see what the Tarot got. Hold on, let me turn my brightness up because I'm looking like too dark up in here. There we go. Now I look lighter. Now I can see myself. Hello? Now I can see myself a little bit better. It was looking so dark, I couldn't see nothing up in here. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to close that door because now my legs are starting to itch like something is biting me. Oh, my God. I'll be okay. I like opening the door, though. I like the fresh air, you know what I mean? All right, make sure y'all hit that like button. No, if y'all want to book an emergency personal reading, please email me, MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com, and we will get your book, Libra, for an emergency. I'm only accepting emergency personal readings, okay? I'm not opening up our regular readings until the end of the year, okay? So email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com if you're interested. Instagram is below, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Twitter is Stalk Miss Hawaii. Shout out to everybody that's been showing love on Twitter. Thank you for that. And shout out to all the members too. I love my members so much. You guys have my heart. Thank you for being members. Shout out to all the Patreoners as well. Y'all got a new video coming this week. We're going to be discussing the moon sign this week. It's so exciting. So exciting. All right. So let's see. Love is Stronger Than Pride is playing by Sade. Somebody still really, really loves you. Their love for you is stronger than the pride that they may keep. Some of you Libras, maybe you feel that way. Maybe you still really, really love somebody. You know, you're trying to have pride and, you know, but the universe is saying, you know, love is stronger than pride. Yeah. What's going on with you in love? What's going on with my Libras? My Libras in love. Love how that sounds. My Libras in love. The page is sore. Somebody's spying on you. Mm -hmm. Could be an Aquarius, another Libra, or a Gemini. Somebody's been keeping serious tabs on you. Some of y'all, it may be somebody new. Ooh, yep, didn't I say it? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody new has been keeping an eye on you, Libra. They could be younger than you. They really think you're freaking awesome. Three of Wands. This person is waiting. They're just observing you. The Temperance. Didn't I say it? Sagittarian energy. Talk about patience. Somebody's really trying to be patient. Take their time with you. Let's take our time, baby. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups in reverse. Overall energy is the star in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, some of you. Damn, this read would have literally been perfect if we didn't have this Three of Cups in reverse come out at the end. Because literally all the cards are upright. Except the three of cups in reverse and the star in reverse. So whoever this is, they like, ain't no way I'm able to pull Libra. Why is the three of cups in reverse though? Some of you, there was an invitation and it didn't fall through. Patience is all through this person's reading. Whoever this is. Now, I don't know if this is you. This could be you as well. This could be you talking to somebody new, trying to take your time, really trying to like fill this person out, seeing what they about. I see you investing. Ten of Pentacles is here, which represents 
power couple, long term, maybe a small few of you may actually already be in a relationship with this person or a marriage or commitment. I don't know why the three of cups is in reverse. That could be a third party or just somebody like, we're going to see. Let's clarify that page of swords. I think Kaylee went outside now. The death in reverse. Uh uh. Somebody from your past is fine on you, too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Some of y'all got a past person that's still been keeping tabs on you. Could be a Scorpio. Don't look at me like that. I'm telling you what's here. I'm going to give you all my love. That's all I want to do. Let me get another card on that page of swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -mm. Some of y'all got an ex from the past that's really going through it financially and they just can't move on. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. This is something new here. The High Priestess. Ooh. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Don't look at me like that. With the Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. I like this new person. Or whoever they are. High Priestess. Some of y'all being real quiet too about it. Like keeping it private which you should, okay? I feel like you're a new person though. I feel like they real like private. They real secretive. They like they business to they self. Four of wands, strength in reverse. Seven of swords, the wheel in reverse. A lot of y'all went through a bad breakup with somebody. Like there was deception, there was cheating, there was lying. You were vulnerable. Let me see the three of wands. Is all I wanna do. Love Ace of Cups. Dude. The Justice in Reverse. There's your major arcana card. Somebody wants to offer you love again. Somebody from your past, but they feel like they did you wrong. So that's why they're waiting. They want a renewal of love with you. They're getting karma for how they treated you. Let me see the, the temperance. Somebody wants forgiveness. Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Page of Cups. Somebody's gonna, somebody gonna hit you up and say, I'm sorry. Page, page. You got a lot of pages. Pages represent messages in the tarot. Somebody's still attracted to you. They feel like they're gonna hit you up and say sorry. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. Because a lot of y'all freed yourself from this past person and you talking to somebody new or you will be. You got two aces here. Which represent new. Strength in reverse. Four wands. Yeah, some of y'all, you in a relationship or you about to be. I feel like you're building something with somebody here. Two of cups. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let me see the seven of pentacles. Hell yeah, four of cups. Somebody from your past, though. <laughs> somebody from your past, though, rejected. I don't know if this past person sees you talking to somebody. The moon in reverse. I feel like the new person is going to be putting, is putting in mad effort, showing you how valuable you are. Let me see the three of cups in reverse. That's why it says someone is in the middle. Someone's trying to sabotage this because you got somebody that you used to deal with, yeah, six of cups, that's still around you. Meanwhile, you trying to have this new thing and you're not trying to be stressed out. Six of cups here, the moon in reverse. Somebody from your past is revealed that somebody from your past here is still stuck on you. Show me that star in reverse. But whoever this is from your past, you lost hope in this. Long time ago, the devil came out, came out in reverse took your power back from this person. Two of cups, you may still feel a connection with them. Why is the star in reverse? Yeah, two of wands in reverse. Ace of swords, it's like you got truth here. 
person is trying to manifest you with the magician on the bottom. Could be a Gemini. What feelings does this person have for Libra? What are the true feelings? Ace of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse. This is somebody definitely you're not talking to. The Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Three of Pentacles with the Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person, Ten of Swords in reverse, Emperor in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, uh-uh. So this person, they're going to try to put in effort. They may have been in hermit mode and now they're coming out of hermit mode. Like, can we try to build? Can we try to work? Mm -mm. Some of y'all, you building already with somebody else. And then you got this other person here who seem burdened by this that pops up and it's like, because whoever it is, it's like they feel like you're not giving them no attention. They feel like you're not worried about them. Like it could have been an argument with the Ace of Swords in reverse. They feel overburdened by this. Like they can't take it anymore. Some of you may have distanced yourself from this person with the Hermit in reverse. What's in this person's subconscious in regards to the way they truly feel about Libra? So let's go into the extended now, Libra. I wanna see more about this person's feelings for you. What's in their subconscious? What are they hiding? We're going to look at their hidden truth messages, and then we're going to go ahead and clarify their current energy, which is the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. We'll go ahead and clarify that, and then we'll look at this person's future actions towards you. What can you expect from them in the future, Libra? All right? Then we'll get you some advice. So we have a lot of fun in the extended. I hope to see you guys there. If not, I'll see you guys next time. You guys, please check out the description box. There's a lot of information there. As far as how you can connect with me, if you would like to, on different uh, social platforms, if you want to book a reading, if you want to become a member, and if you would like to join my Patreon, so check that out. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the weather. It's beautiful today, guys. I love you. Live. Be free. Live your life. Don't ever stop living for anybody, and make sure you choose your happiness over anyone else's, because at the end of the day, it's about you and pleasing yourself and being happy. All right? I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, Libras.